Did you know that about an 80% failure rate is attached to startup bars and eateries within their first five years of opening? Are these food giants really going out of business? Or are they just playing an extreme game of hide and seek? Are we witnessing the end of an era? Or is this just a clever marketing strategy to make a comeback as retro eateries in 2050? Oh, is the suspense killing you? Number one. Crystal faces an uncertain future after filing for bankruptcy in 2020 during COVID-19. Their new owner, Fortress Investment Group, aims to revitalize Crystal by selling underperforming locations. But this franchising is a slow process and may not save the 1930s founder burger chain in time. Crystal saw a consistent downward performance over the past decade, including a bankruptcy filing and ownership change in 2020. Given Crystal's ongoing deterioration throughout the 2010s, the company likely lacks the time needed to execute a successful turnaround. Number 2. High Five Pizza has not seen the success envisioned for the Subway-style personnel pizza chain. Despite targeting high-traffic areas like college campuses, approximately 66% of High Five locations have closed permanently. Meanwhile, owner Rave Restaurant Group's pizza concept, Pizza Inn, have thrived. Rave seems to be phasing out Pi 5 in favor of the more profitable Pizza Inn, signaling Pi 5's potential demise. As nearly two-thirds of all Pi 5 pizzerias have shuttered, the personalized pizza model clearly missed the mark. Pizza Inn's prosperity points to Rave gradually abandoning the Pi 5 concepts to focus resources on its winner. With most locations gone, its parent company emphasizing a different brand, Pi 5 appears unlikely to survive. Number 3. Poncho's Mexican Buffet has dwindled from 140 locations in its 1990s prime to just two remaining Texas restaurants. New ownership in 2001 preceded Poncho's decline. Local news reported permanent closures in 2021, prompting customers' visits, but the closure never happened. However, with only two locations left, Poncho's appears on the verge of extinction. Poncho's Mexican Buffet was once a go-to for Tex-Mex food, and it expanded across the South and Southwest in its heyday. Nevertheless, having just two surviving locations puts Poncho's on extremely shaky ground. Number 4. Applebee's, a staple since 1980, has struggled in recent years, exacerbated by COVID-19. Despite efforts to bounce back in 2023, more underperforming Applebee's have closed. With additional 2023 closures despite recovery efforts, the neighborhood grill and bars era may soon end unless 2024 brings a reversal of fortune. COVID-19 further accelerated Applebee's downward slide as restaurants closed permanently. Hopes were high for a comeback in 2023. More closures, even after attempting improvements, point to growing weaknesses for the veteran chain. The outlook appears dire entering 2023. 24, without a clear plan to revitalize sagging sales and guest counts. Time may soon run out for the once-dominant Applebee's to rediscover their mojo. Number 5. Buffalo Wild Wings has faced troubling developments, including a lawsuit over serving chicken-like breast meat as boneless wings. After withdrawing from Canada amid underperformance, locations may further shrink in 2024. The chain has preserved since 1982, but recent challenges have cast uncertainty over its future. Founded in 1982, Buffalo Wild Wings cultivated a sports bar identity paired with chicken wings and beer. Legal issues and international retrenchment point towards weakness in the foundation. Speculation abroad over store closures continue in the U.S., the core Buffalo Wild Wings market. Recent troubles may start a downward spiral in 2024 and beyond for this beloved sports bar. Number 6. Fuddruckers once touted freshly baked buns but has declined from its high of 260 locations to just 60 today. The acquisition by Lobby's in 2010 brought unpopular changes contributing to lost earnings. Lobby's 2020 liquidation left Fuddruckers under new ownership, trying to salvage the brand, but it may now be too late to save the crumbling burger chain. Fuddruckers gained popularity for hamburgers on freshly baked buns when it started in Texas in 1980. They grew quickly to over 250 outposts before the acquisition by Lobby's in 2010. With negative publicity and lagging performance, Fuddruckers may be too far gone for even its recent buyer to revive. The once thriving chain now risks total collapse. Number 7. White Castle, founded in 1921 as the first burger chain, has recently closed locations and faced financial issues. A massive $17 billion lawsuit over digital identification system violations delivered a further blow in 2023. But troubling signs now signal potential decline. Recent closure, money problems, and a devastating lawsuit alleged illegal employee monitoring have battered the iconic brand. The Supreme Court ultimately reduced the absurd $17 billion initial settlement, but even a fraction of the amount could bankrupt White Castle. Multiple setbacks and controversies illustrate White Castle's precarious position. The chain may relinquish its burger crown unless fortunes improve in 2024. Number 8. Boston Market has shrunk from 1,200 restaurants in its rotisserie chicken heyday to just 310 today. In 2023, 27 locations closed due to $600,000 in unpaid employee wages. Fines exceeding $2 million more compounded Boston Market's problems. 
With ongoing decline since its peak, 2024 may see the chain continue its drawn-out collapse. Boston Market popularized rotisserie chicken when it rose to prominence in the 1990s and early 2000s. At its peak, over 1,200 locations kept ovens busy roasting birds. But Boston's market has diminished steadily over the years, now down to around 300 restaurants. A 2023 scandal where 27 stores shut after stifling employees $600,000 in unpaid wages worsened brand perception. Number 9. Old Country Buffet Once sporting over 600 all-you-can-eat restaurants, now has approximately 13 locations, many of which are inactive. After multiple bankruptcies in 2008, 2012, 2016, and 2021, the buffet chain is essentially dead already. The remaining social media pages and locations appear to prolong the inevitable permanent shutdown of the iconic chain. Today, just around 13 old country buffets remain, and many sit vacant with shuttered doors. The few still open seem to be delaying the inevitable end. Closing its remaining social media presence and turning out the last lights would make its demise officially complete. The once booming buffet chain clings to relevancy despite being all but extinct. Number 10. Burr's Fresh Buffet closed all restaurants permanently during COVID-19 and has shown no sign of returning aside from the rumors of a small Texas resurrection. After 75 years of cafeteria-style dining, Burr's complete disappearance made their closing permanent in the minds of many loyal patrons. Any brief return will likely just delay Burr's inevitable full shutdown. Burr's Fresh Buffet shut down all locations rather than operate with restrictions during COVID-19. Having every restaurant permanently go dark made Burr's seem forever gone to regulars. Rumors of a sold Texas reopening likely just pro along the ultimate fate of a full shutdown. Any tiny resurgence will only temporarily keep furs on life support before the brand breathes its last breath. Number 11. Piccadilly Restaurants, founded in 1932, became a popular southern cafeteria chain in the mid-1900s. Today, prominent locations are mysteriously closing without explanation or warning after 50 years or more of operation. With significant downsizing happening quietly across states, 2024 may reveal the once-beloved Piccadilly brand extinguish. Piccadilly started as one cafeteria in Louisiana during the Great Depression before expanding across the South. Silent downsizing location by location could indicate Piccadilly wants to fade away discreetly rather than announce its looming end. Continued unexplained closings may gradually eliminate the Piccadilly name by 2024. Number 12. Steak and Shake's famous steak burgers may not be enough to save it from elimination. Despite 600 locations in 2018, Steak and Shake was down to 500 restaurants by 2022 and will continue dropping in 2023. With locations closing gradually and consistently, the outlook appears bleak for this burger chain darling to survive beyond 2024. With no signs of slowing in 2023, the famous Steak and Shake slider appears incapable of rescuing the chain from its downward spiral. Number 13. Cracker Barrel is another pandemic victim having closed locations across Oregon in 2023 as customer traffic plunged. Other spots like Bend, Oregon have also shuttered recently. As Cracker Barrel struggles to regain pre-pandemic sales and traffic levels, 2024 may bring a continuation of closures for the Southern Country Store and Restaurant Icon. If consumer patterns don't shift back towards Cracker Barrel soon, additional closures seem imminent in 2024. The chain may be forced to keep shutting underperforming outposts until customers' demand returns to normal post-pandemic levels. Number 14. Dairy Queen has turned off some longtime franchisees, resulting in a handful of prominent U.S. location closures recently. Disputes between store owners and corporations have led to shuttered shops, like one in Illinois that has been open for 60 years. While reasons vary, multiple closures of beloved locations paint an uncertain picture of the ice cream giant's future in 2024 and beyond. Number 15. Hardee's bankruptcy and closure of 39 restaurants in 2023 signaled trouble for the iconic burger chain. Rising costs post-pandemic pushed the Hardee's unit count below 100 for the first time in the company's 62-year history. With the very existence of Hardee's now in jeopardy, the restaurant industry continues to feel the devastating effect of COVID-19 even years later. The very future of the six-decade mainstay, Hardee's now hangs in the balance due to these lasting COVID impacts on the restaurant business. More closures could spell the end entirely for this established burger brand. And that's a wrap, food fanatics. We've navigated the gastronomic graveyard together, unveiling the demise of these 15 once mighty food chains. Share your spicy theories in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this roller coaster of culinary chaos, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell.